we're down 3-2. In game one, I said, if the Dodgers get to three wins and we don't have three wins, I would be very worried. Guess what? We're exactly at that point, and this was the worst case scenario for us, because this was really, I think out of all the games we've lost, this was the best chance we had at actually winning this game, winning a game, because, you know, game one, we have really no shot after, you know, that glass now struggled. And then game three, we really didn't have any shot after, you know, six runs given up. And we just couldn't do anything on offense. But after, you know, Glass now had a rough start. He pitched really well. And yes, he did allow that home run to Max Muncy. He should not have done that, but he was really one strike away. It wasn't like it was a horrible at bat or anything, or first pitch thing. It's just really unfortunate for him. And, you know, the bullpen held the Dodgers to no runs after that even. And we have a bunch of chances to do anything with runners in scoring position, but guess what? We did jack shit. And here's one thing I want to say about who to blame. It's not Glass now. Alright? It's not Glass now. Alright? Holding the Dodgers... I know giving up four runs isn't good, but considering the fact that... Uh, he looked. He did not look good at all in the first two innings. It, it looked like he was going to give up seven. So considering, you know, how he pitched in the first couple of innings, the fact that he allowed four is pretty good to me. And then against this Dodgers offense, this Dodgers offense, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm not going to really blame Glass now because he actually bounced back after the first two innings. And I'm not going to blame Manuel Marco. I know some of you are going to be like, why are you not blaming him? He's an idiot for trying to steal home with two outs. I don't agree with him stealing home. All right. And before you ask, I think he was out. I don't think he was safe. I don't think there was enough evidence to prove he was safe. All right. And I'm also, although it's very hard not to, I'm also not going to blame the Ums, because, man, were they horrible tonight. They were so horrible. That, By the way, that Seeger being safe on second thing, absolute bull. That was absolute bull. Absolute bull. But whatever. You know, even if they called him out, we, we still would have lost. You know? But, anyways, it's not on Margot. For sure. Alright, because here's something. Margot is at third base for a long time. In fact, he stole second and then third and got there. Alright? He was at third for a while. Okay? No outs. Renfro rocks. Okay? You have a great chance to drive in some runs to at least tie the game. And we didn't do anything. And... Honestly, even if Marco stayed at third, Kiermaier wasn't doing anything. Kiermaier was not doing anything. So, for all the people that want to blame Marco, I'm sorry, but it's not his fault. Okay? And besides, that wasn't, that wasn't even our best shot to even score once. Because in the eighth inning, we had two men on. And guess who was going to be at bat with those two men on? Randy Arosarena, our best postseason hitter. And Brandon Lau, he's starting to pick things up. And guess what they did? Two flyouts. Two flyouts. Man, I I'm so mad about this game. It's just this was the best chance we had in any of our losses to the Dodgers to actually maybe do something, and we didn't. Now we still have a chance to win this series. But, the Dodgers, anytime they win now, it's over. And you wanna know my opinion? We're not winning two straight. I just, I want to win two straight. I'm not saying it's impossible to win two straight, but I just have this gut feeling that the Dodgers are not losing two straight. This is, and one of the reasons why I won to win game five so badly was because, you know, 
I had, you know, I had this like feeling, okay, we could possibly win one of these games. We'll probably lose one of these games to the Dodgers, but we'll still probably win. But nope, that's out the window. That's out the window now. We have to win two straight games. We can't lose anymore. It just sucks. It just really sucks. You know? Part of me kind of wishes that uh, Brett Phillips didn't hit that. No, I can't. I can't say that. I can't say that. Cause, no, I still want him to hit that. It's just... I was about to say, basically, I kind of wish we and it and got the heartbreak over with. And sorry for my loud AC, but and outside, but I just didn't have any good location to film. So, anyways, down three two, game six. There's a 100% chance it's going to be Blake Snell pitching, and we're most likely going to play against Tony Gonsolin, but. You know, if, you know, the Dodgers get to, if the Dodgers jump early and Tony Gonsolin do, does a successful job of, you know, kind of limiting the amount of runs we score, I could see Walker Bueller being used. You know, that's, that's just how I'm seeing this. I just don't know anymore. I don't know about this offense. I'm starting to get worried that the eight-run game... That's all the offense we were going to ever have in this series. It just sucks. You know, it sucks feeling like this, but I just don't know. I just can't... I just can't think of a way of, of us winning two straight games. I just can't. Even if we do win on Game 6, and if we do win in Game 6, my feelings about us winning the World Series most likely changes, obviously. So, yeah, but here's the thing. We're going to be playing against Walker Bueller. That guy's unhittable. He almost had a no-hitter in perfect game against us. I just cannot see us winning against Bueller. I just can't. It sucks, you know? I, I don't, no matter how many stupid decisions Dave Roberts makes, we're just going to bail him out. I just can't have any confidence right now. At least we get a day off tomorrow get rested hopefully we start picking things up but i just can't see us winning the world series right now just right now Ho my feelings might change tomorrow might change tuesday but right now it's just like you know this is just you know i guess a overreaction like a huge overreaction i'm having but right now i'm just not feeling great about this series hopefully I want you guys to prove me wrong, though. I want the Rays to prove me wrong. Please prove me wrong. I want to be wrong about my how I feel about this. Go Rays. Let's tie the series on Tuesday, please, for the love of God.